Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video on YT News. Here are the top moments when Michael J. Knowles destroyed college SJWs. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Alright, now let's begin. Number 1. Knowles called out virtue, signaling crybabies. During one of his speeches in a college, a bunch of college students started booing Michael Knowles. He was talking about colonialism in America when a group of whiny students started chanting, shame, shame, shame. Instead of getting riled up, Knowles gave them a chance to explain what they were getting mad about, but all they did was yell profanities and boot him. The obvious kids didn't even have coherent points to make. He wished that they had two brain cells to rub together. Would have realized is, what they would have realized is, if you oppose colonialism, then you should love the colonial mascot. The colonial mascot is a symbol of fighting colonialism in America. The colonial should be their hero. I don't know who their hero is. I don't want to know who their hero is. <laughs> the question is, what have these entitled and ignorant history erasers ever done themselves? Those Number two, Knowles being attacked for saying men are not women. In another of his speeches, Knowles predicted from the very beginning that there is a huge chance that people might walk out of here after he starts speaking, and that's because he completely realizes the influence of leftism on the gullible college students. He knows the intolerable nature of college students, so he laughed it off until a group of people assaulted him by throwing paint at him. Knowles remained calm and said that he can't believe people find him that intimidating. what this is. I think someone, someone threw milk on me or something. I don't really know. You're just trying to, yeah, you're, you're trying to teach me with your fists. Thank you. That's the same lesson that Mussolini was teaching people. You ridiculous fascist. Number three, Knowles destroying a college professor. Knowles has a command over proving college students wrong, but it takes next level mastery to prove professionals and professors wrong. One such example of this is when during a speech, a professor asked a question that was incomplete. When Knowles cross-questioned him to gauge a better sense of what he's trying to ask, the professor was utterly speechless. This proved Knowles' point because he's a well-read individual. For his good treatment of the natives, that point is neither here nor there. And, and I encourage people to read biographies of Christopher Columbus because there's a lot of historical fiction out there. The point on that is that when the Spanish came to this country, they did, and to this continent, they did create a new race known as Latinos. This is a mixture of Spaniards and Native American populations. So if we are going to revert certain land to Native populations, why would we not then immediately take that land away from them? Number four, Knowles destroys the smug socialist. Socialism is like an infection in college students that infects hundreds of them with ideas that seem good to hear, but are implausible to sustain. Knowles first patiently let the smug socialist talk about his utopian ideas, then he broke down socialism in America and gave various examples to make him understand that there's no way it could be implemented in America without oppressing the middle class families. The socialist kid had nothing to say in his defense. Or dying in the US you can keep repeating your lie, but it, it doesn't make it true. Show me the person who is denied entrance stuff. to an emergency room, my friend. Show me the person. I haven't seen them. Hey, I'm for facts of our feelings. <laughs> well, you, you can repeat good slogans as well as bad slogans, but they remain slogans nonetheless. And I'm explaining to you the way the healthcare regime that. actually works. Number five, Knowles proved a college professor is problematic. Knowles called out a professor in one of his lectures for saying free speech is violent against the marginalized and oppressed communities. When the professor jumped to the protesters' support, Knowles destroyed her by cross-questioning her and making her accept she is against free speech. He makes an excellent point that violence is not a subjective feeling, but rather an objective fact that anyone can tell if it is happening. The professor had nothing to say to defend her point of liberal education. If you cannot understand that there is a difference between speech and violence, you don't understand anything that undergirds the liberal arts or liberal education. And that is a real shame. And I say this with all respect and with great distress for our universities. If our teachers don't under understand the difference between ideas and violence, between speech and violence, then they are in no position to educate the next generation of Americans. 
Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked the video yet, it's never too late. Give it a thumbs up, people. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.